My God. What's happened to you, my boy? And would you believe it, oh, my brothers and only friends, there was your faithful narrator being held helpless like a babe in arms and suddenly realizing where he was and why home on the gate had looked so familiar. But I knew I was safe. I knew he would not remember me. For in those carefree days, I and my so-called droogs wore our masks, which were like real horror show disguises. Police. The ghastly, horrible police. They beat me up, sir. The police beat me up, sir. I know you. Isn't it your picture in the newspapers? Didn't I see you on the video this morning? Are you not the poor victim of this horrible new technique? Yes, sir. That's exactly who I am, what I am, sir. A victim, sir. And by God, you've been sent here by Providence. Tortured in prison, then thrown out to be tortured by the police. My heart goes out to you, poor, poor boy. Oh, you are not the first to come here in distress. The police are fond of bringing their victims to the outskirts of this village. But it is providential that you, who are also another kind of victim, should come here. Oh, but you're cold and shivering. Julian, draw a bath for this young man. Certainly, Frank. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you, sir.